Hi, I'm Keith from Countryside Nursery, and today's plant of the week are magnolias. I've got a couple different varieties of magnolias here. The first one I'm going to be talking about is the Royal Star Magnolia. Uh, this one is going to be the first one to come into bloom. They typically start blooming late February. Um, they're going to bloom late February through April. Uh, they are going to have a white flower. That's a fairly fragrant flower. Um, and they are going to be one of our smaller varieties. They get about 8 to 10 feet for the height and the width. Um, they can be considered a small tree or a large shrub. The next one to come into bloom, this one typically starts blooming um, mid-March all the way, and then they have sporadic blooms all the way throughout the summer as well. So these ones are going to be a continuous rebloomer. Um, these ones will have a darker pink-purple flower with a white interior. This is the Anne Magnolia. These ones will get about 10 to 15 feet for the height with about an 8 to 10 foot spread. Uh, the next one to come into bloom is going to be the Jane Magnolia. This is going to be one of our larger varieties. They can get anywhere from about 15 to 20 feet with about an 8 to 10 foot spread. Uh, these ones are going to be blooming uh, mid-April throughout May. These ones are going to have kind of a lighter pink purple flower with a brighter white interior than what the Anne Magnolia will have. Um, and then the last to come into bloom, these ones are going to bloom throughout May. Uh, these ones are also going to be one of our taller varieties. This is a butterfly magnolia. They're going to have a yellow flower with red stamen, so it helps give some contrast to their flower. Um, and then these ones are also going to have a, a fragrant flower as well. It's a little bit more of kind of a lemony fragrance. Um, so if you're interested in these, these are just some of the varieties of magnolia we carry. So come on down and give them a look while they're in bloom.